In this streamlined atomic age, how refreshing it is to take a sentimental journey into the past. All you need is one renovated steam engine, a few open-top carriages, and some of the loveliest Welsh mountain scenery. And you're back in the last century, traveling on the Telleth Lynn Railway, oldest surviving narrow-gauge railway in the world. the seven miles of track from the seacoast to Taiwan to Abergann near the slopes of Tata Idris, anything can happen, and generally does. But Bill Faulkner, the volunteer driver, and George Walker, who acts as fireman in his spare time, take the bull by the horns, and it's plain sailing. A permanent staff of eight, assisted by half a dozen volunteers, deal with 30,000 passengers, only a small proportion of local residents, during a four-month summer season. But then everyone seems to lend a hand. Run on a non-profit basis by the Talith Lynn Railway Preservation Society, the railway was constructed in 1865 primarily for slate traffic and opened for passenger service a year later. In 1946, when the slate quarries were finally closed, railway enthusiasts formed the society to keep the line operating. Time for tea and just in time for Edward Thomas's no youngster, Lying derelict until a member of the society reconditioned it at his own expense, a mere 750 pounds, it nevertheless gives fine service. It's different, mind you, and this is not the sort of thing you do on the Flying Scotsman, but on Puffing Edward Thomas, it's quite safe. Yet in winters when the mountains have been snowbound, the trains go through where more modern transport fails. The railway may look quaint, but it has a character bred in the pioneer tradition. <laughs> 